Hey guys, what's going on? It's that Home Theater dude. Got a brand episode for today. As you see in front of me, I have a whole lot of cardboard that I have to go ahead and unbox. I have the Marantz SR5014, the Marantz SR6014, and the big boy, the AV8805. Um, this one is going to be kind of saved for a different video, so I'm going to go ahead and put that one um, to the side. But basically, the content on this video is going to be the SR5014 and the SR6014. Uh, they're the 2019 versions of these things. Brantz is just bringing out uh, their, their their receivers for this year. Um, these just launched, and this this actual video was made possible by the guys over at Dream Media. So if you guys haven't checked them out already, I'll go ahead, I'll go ahead and leave a link down in the description, and I'll go ahead and leave something right up here. So if you guys want to go to their channel, highly recommend you guys checking them out and uh, see if you guys can order some of this stuff. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and jump into the unboxing. I'll do it right after the intro. So let's go get this thing unboxed. All right, so what do we get in the box? We get a nice remote. This is actually very different than my Denon remote that I have. I'll show you the remote. See, I like that cool little finish that it has. Batteries. You get your assorted antenna. You have your Wi-Fi ears, your Bluetooth ears, your AM, FM antennas, as well as your wiring labels, which is also very handy especially whenever you start getting into, you know, if you're gonna be moving this equipment around, if you have, you know, lots of channels to deal with. You also have your warranty information, quick setup guide, safety instructions, basic stuff. Quick start guide, Odyssey calibration mic. If you guys haven't seen this thing before, it's actually really cool. It's, uh, it's pyramid in shape. Basically just has a little microphone right there on top, just like that. Has a microphone on top, you plug this in, into your actual receiver. And then it just already automatically starts the prompt to go ahead and start doing auto calibration. And then you have your stand for your microphone if you guys don't have a tripod. Tripod's usually best. Power cord. All right, so let's check this thing out. So apparently I opened it up backwards. This is the back of the unit. There's lots of uh, open area on top for heat to escape. Okay, so let's go ahead and jump into this one. This is the SR6014. Now this is gonna be very similar to the 4400, 4500 type of uh, Denon Marantz that you're used to. Basically what it is, it's a nine channel processor. And then it also has the ability to run uh, 11 channels if you have an external ampl amplifier, amplifier source. Okay, so I should have mentioned, this is a seven channel amplifier. Basically what it is, is it's gonna be maxed out at seven channels, you can't expand upon that. This is gonna be a nine channel amplifier that has nine channels of processing, nine channels of internal amplification. And then on top of that, if you wanna use an external amplifier, like a stereo pair or a stereo amplifier, you can actually bump that up to a full 11 channel. So if you guys have the 7.1 or 7.2.4, uh, you're gonna have that full effect with this one right here. So very similar, you get the uh, remote in the box. Get that same quick start guide. Your assorted antenna and li basic literature. So you have your Wi-Fi ears in there, Bluetooth ears, power cord, your Odyssey calibration mic, your Odyssey stand, as it would be if you don't have a tripod. And then you get some batteries for your remote. So all in all the Unboxing is very similar to the last one, but I think whenever we actually get this thing out on the table, you guys will be able to see the difference in actually between these two. So give it the jiggle, so give it the jiggle, give it the jiggle. All right, so this one I opened up properly. So check that out. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and clear all this stuff off and give you guys shots of the front and also the back.
Okay, so with the Remarance SR5014, this is that seven channel amplifier like I was talking about. Uh, this is actually a really premium feel to it. Uh, it's very positive feedback whenever you actually use these dials, um, which I think is actually really cool. I, you know, you, you guys know me, I, I've, I've owned a Denon and the Denon has been great, but I mean, it, it, it really doesn't compare to the actual Marantz. I know they're sister companies and everything, but if you guys want some of the premium stuff, then Marantz is the way to go. This is basically your display for the entire thing. If you guys are used to the Denon, it's gonna be kind of like a bigger display. Uh, you just have this little porthole to actually show you what's going on in the actual unit. Another thing I will say is that it has another auxiliary HDMI on the front. And the cool thing is they actually beef this thing up. So this is going to actual current standards. This is the 4K HDCP 2.3. If you guys are familiar with the, you know, the tried and true version is 2.2 is, uh, is, is what this one's replacing. And uh, it's, it's just a copyright handshake type of thing. So you guys aren't necessarily stealing, um, not you guys, but you know, in general that people aren't stealing, um, you know, uh, newer content. All right, so if you guys haven't seen the back of a, you know, AV receiver or preamp processor, typically the things that are in different colors, like these, you know, hashed out marks like right here, also in here, these are gonna be your outputs. So same thing up here, you're gonna have this right here. These are your outputs via HDMI, these are your inputs. And then let's go ahead and start over on the left side. So you have up here on top, I guess you can't see this one over here, but you're gonna have your Bluetooth Wi-Fi antenna. Over here, you're gonna have your IR blaster in. So if this thing is tucked behind, you know, uh, a cabinet or, you know, it's out of sight of the actual remote. So you guys are actually clicking and you guys don't get any actual, you know, feedback from the unit. Hook this thing up, plug one in here, you know, mount it to where you can actually, it's it's in view, point the remote at it and then you're off to the races. You're, you're, you're back going again. A couple of digital ends. You have it via coax and also your toss link type of um, application. You have your network in Seven of these HDMI ends, and these are the still the, the current standard, the 2.3 HDCP, um, and these are assignable as well. And so you have a total of eight for the entire unit. Over here, you're gonna have two of your HDCP pass-throughs. They're gonna be the monitor two, and also you have one that's ARC and eARC. Or you have a series of audio ins right here, audio outs. So if you guys wanna use this as zone two, that's available as well. And then you can use it with your, you know, traditional type of home theater. So if you guys, if, if, if this isn't enough juice for you, 100 watts channel isn't enough juice for you, um, you guys can hook, certainly hook these things up to, you know, a, a plethora of home theater amplifiers out there. And you guys can do it via this, which is going to be your unbalanced output. Two subwoofer outs, total of seven channels. Over here, you have your DC uh, out. This is going to be your trigger. So basically what a trigger is, is this controls the power to another unit. So if you guys are using these actual amplifiers, then this signal, if it's, it's a mono oral cable, it's basically a, the, an auxiliary cable with one ring on it instead of two. It sends the signal via the cable to, to the actual device, turns on that device that you actually want to power. So it's actually really smart. So you don't have to worry about getting up and turning on your amplifiers every single time that you want to use them. Normal antenna, you have your FM and AM. This one has HD AM now. This is a different than the older model, the 5013. It's, and then you have these really premium type of connections down here. These, ha these actually have a really nice feel to them. You know, um, it, it's, it's different than uh, Yamaha or Onkyo or different things like that. And it has a really nice feel to them. You can also use the banana plugs if you wanna use that, unscrew these things, insert your wire, and you can put them on top of that as well. Your choice. Here you have your power input. And that's about it. Again, so then again, guys, I know it's been addressed in several different things, but just think about this. Whenever you look at the back of units, sometimes they will actually tell you their actual power rating. So try to, you know, this is kind of like a, an extremely ballpark type of thing, but divide your number of channels by this number, and then that will give you a roundabout what your is gonna be. You know, there, there's still gonna be loss between heat, you know, to turn on the display and other things like that. If you saw the front of this thing, it always says that you're gonna get, you know, 200 watts a channel or whatever, and that's just with two channels driven. This has seven channels. So just think about that. All right, guys, so this is the Marantz 6014. It is the 5014's bigger brother. So I mean, bigger brother by it has more channels internally driven. So the one before was seven channels. This is nine channels with the ability to add up to another two channels with an external amplifier. So if you guys want that full 7.2.4 type of experience, you, you can actually you know save a little cash rather than going a little higher and then buying an external amplifier and then there you go, you're off to the races. So it has an additional 10 watts per channel. And the addition of the Odyssey that I showed you guys before, now the 5014 actually had the multi Odyssey EQ and the this one, the 6014 actually has the Odyssey EQ XT32. 
So with that XT32, it basically gives you eight different positions that you can actually do Odyssey in. And if you guys don't know what Odyssey is, it's basically a room calibration. And the eight channels, it basically tries to give you a, the best bubble of sound around your main listening position. That's basically what it is. So it's, it's another tier above what you have before. And also in addition to that, you can actually run the Odyssey app in your with, with your smartphone and you can optimize your, your listening experience with that actual app. It clears out a whole lot of the peaks and valleys and it makes it as linear as possible. With the 5014, your two subwoofer outs are basically gonna be the same signal. With this one, the 6014, you can actually have discrete outputs for your subwoofer. So if you wanna have, you know, your left effects go on the left side, right effects go on the right side, assignable front and rear, whatever you want it to do, do it that way as well. So in comparison, this one looks very similar to the SR5014. So with this one, it's gonna have your Bluetooth antennas on top, your Wi-Fi antenna. You're gonna have your digital ends via your coax or your actual toss link. You're also gonna have your network ends. You're gonna have seven additional HDMI 4K HDCP 2.3 now, three HDMI outs, which is which is huge. Now uh, with this one, you, you also have your ARC, which is gonna be your audio return channel. And then you have assignable different areas that you can actually do. So if you wanna have three of the th same things going at the same time, you can do that. And you can also have different stuff going on. So you can have different things playing in different rooms. Over here, you're gonna have your AM FM antenna inputs your DC out, which is gonna be your trigger like I talked about earlier, your RS-232C, you have your IR blaster in. So like I was talking about earlier, if you guys wanna have this thing completely hidden, you don't wanna see it, you can tuck it away in a cabinet or a closet or whatever, have the IR blaster, basically what it is, is you just point your remote at it and then it sends the signal back into this thing. You don't have to see the front of this face to actually interact with it. And then, you know, you, you can control it that way. Signal ground, like I was talking about before, all these things with these hash marks are gonna be outputs. So you have your remote control in and out, you have your video ins, your component ins, component outs, visual unbalanced inputs, full 7.2.4 outputs. And these are gonna be your speaker outs. Basically the way I would set this thing up is I would put a strong amplifier on the front or even the front stage. So that way you can actually have the internal amplifiers doing the rest of these. So it takes all the strain off of your, your front stage, which is gonna be your most you know cinematic by design anyways. All right guys, I'm gonna go in this video here. This was the unboxing of the SR6014 and 5014 from Rants. Like I said, these are the 2019 versions of these things. They just came out just a couple weeks ago. And uh, maybe if I have time, I'll be able to take these things to my buddy Wade's house, test them out in his home theater. He has a 7.2.4. Um, we should be able to maximize this one with this setup. Uh, we may not be able to maximize this one, but I mean, hopefully I'll be able to hook them up. If not, then uh, th th this might be the end of the video series. So stick around, I have the AV8805. And as you guys saw, last week I got the Emotiva RMC1. So that one's Emotiva's RMC1 preamp processor flagship type of thing. And Marantz has their AV8805. Uh, that is their flagship preamp processor. So it, coming in the very, very shortly, I'm gonna actually be doing an unboxing of the Marantz. And you know, I'll, I'll, hopefully I'll be able to actually hook these things up and pit them against each other so that you guys will know the ultimate differences in between you know, this one and that one. And you guys can make the best buying decision possible. All right, so make sure you like, favorite, share, and subscribe. Don't forget to hit the little subscribe notifications bell. It really helps out a lot. Get these videos as soon as they come out. I really appreciate all the love and support of the last couple of years, guys. It's been a lot of fun and I will catch you guys on the next video.